Hey there, traders. Todd Gordon here of TradingAnalysis.com. We put on an Apple position today. I'm going to take you through it here in the free video. So to set it up, uh, this is a video we did. This is the last free video we did. This is Apple in the three hour. I'm just going to play it for about 10 seconds and just set up the trade. It projected off the low at two. And that should give you an idea of where wave four will stop. So it's possible, guys, this 127 half might be the low. Okay, so 127.5 was the projected low in Apple. Here is the updated chart in Apple uh, following today's new position. So I'm bringing it into the members area here of trading analysis. This is the 30-minute chart. So zooming in here a little bit, uh, you will see that 127.5 did in fact capture the low in Apple on this pullback. Uh, this is a combination of two FIB support levels here, 4v3, 4v2, no problem. Gave us the nice low. We're moving higher in A. And as I warmed in that prior video, and I'll link you to that video right above, uh, this is probably a B wave. Okay. And all that means is we should not move below this level. Okay. So we are bullish Apple only in the near term, just for a move up towards about 132. Elliott wave stuff aside, we see this as an A, a B, a C. All you need to know is this should give you a rally. But I think it's going to be a false break. We should fail, come down and retest that FIB support zone. So we're just looking to do a short-term little trade here. So what we did, uh, while above a 127.5 in Apple, that's that FIB support zone, we did the, um, we sold a put credit spread. We sold the March 128 puts, bought the March 127s. We did it. I got 39 cents for that credit. We're putting a stop of 127 on the trade. And um, obviously, we're going to look to manage. Uh, oh, we should get full profit on this. This is only a, a monthly trade with about 17 days to go. So we will manage the trade as we move up into the, about the 132 to 133 area. All right. Apple strong. It's a good Elliott Wave setup. Don't get trapped into thinking we're going to break to new highs. This is probably a B wave false trap for you Elliott Wave guys, guys out there, which means we do get a rally. Gets all dressed up. Looks like it wants to party, but then stops and stuffs the breakout buyers. Go back, shake people out a little bit in the C wave, regain itself, and then break to new highs. All right, guys. Hope that helps. Uh, please give us a like on the video uh, if this was of service. It helps us rise in the ranks of the very competitive YouTube landscape. And, um, and plus, it lets me know that you guys uh, are making a little bit of money with this stuff. So, Hope it helps. Good luck and see you in the next video update.